But the next thing we were supposed to talk about was D-Wade versus Steph Curry. Should we say that to the next episode? Man, should we talk about it? I don't even know what to say anymore. We can talk about it. I mean, all right, we, all right, well, fine. To, to meet the two hours that we'll need for Dash Radio, we Fuck, got 13 man. minutes later. We Fuck, got 13 man. minutes left. Let's talk about it. Um, let's talk about Steph Curry versus D-Wade. I just want to say, a lot of y'all 14 years old are very disrespectful to D-Wade. When I tweeted this earlier, like early in the week, people was like, Steph does everything better than D-Wade. He's a better scorer. Fair. He's a better passer. No. Nah, I don't know if he, a, um, What? Well, never mind. Never mind. What, score? Yeah. Passer, no. And he, low-key, he does not dribble better. There is a compilation. Of, uh, you, you can find... D-Wade put a lot of people on skates. Oh, tell me. A lot him. of people on skates. And D-Wade was also fast. Very fast. And D-Wade was also giving you like eight assists a night. Derrick Rose was basically a shorter, faster version of D-Wade. And couldn't, didn't have as many moves. I mean, yeah. D-Wade got moves. I mean, the reason yeah, D-Wade I mean, is still playing right I mean, now because I mean, he got moves. I mean, yeah, but D-Wade is one of the greatest. Of and players. also. D-Wade is one of the GOATs. Derrick Rose is not one of the GOATs. I feel you. And you can't discount what D-Wade did defensively. D-Wade was 6'4", and, and for the most part, still giving people, you a block a night. And smacking people stuff like, all like, around the arena. Like, 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 look, I know some of y'all 14, and y'all don't remember when D-Wade and the refs decided to destroy Dallas and shame Dirk for like five years. Bruh, that I, was... I know y'all no, don't remember no, no, that. No, 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 but no. But everybody would love to complain. To me, everybody would love to complain to me about the Rockets and the Warriors refs. Go back and watch, rewatch that series. Go watch, yeah, yeah. Go watch, yeah. Dirk, go watch that. Look, 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 as Vince McMahon, as somebody, I, yo, the other day when when somebody when when Doja Cat tweeted that crazy shit, tweeted somebody tweeted the uh, the picture of Vince McMahon. And it was like Doja Cat screwed Doja Cat. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but seriously. Like, I the really Rockets need y'all to go Rockets. back and watch a lot of D-Wade. Like, because clearly y'all don't remember Prime D-Wade. The only thing Steph Curry does better than D-Wade is shoot threes, and I'm dead ass serious. That is it. That's where it ends. He shoots threes better and stop there. He don't dribble better. He don't play make better. He don't play defense better. He don't finish better. There's nothing on the basketball court. Steph Curry he does. don't finish better. I didn't say Duncan. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. G, I'm a am th- I swear to God, G, come on, G, come on, G. You remember the fucking layup against the Pistons when the man was backwards and flipped in like this? Yes, I've you seen Steph Curry do like that all the time. Uh, G, come on, G, come on, come on, G, come on, G, come on, G. G, G hum- no, go, come on, I've said, G. I said it this podcast, come D-Wade, my favorite player of all come time. Come on, G, come on, G. He don't, the man not facing the contact at the rim like D-Wade was. Facing at the rim, G. He not facing yeah, that kind of Yeah, but D-Wade played above the rim. Steph exactly. Plays, Steph plays he below the rim. Like better. Steph plays below the rim and exactly. still finishes 60% That's every great. year. He not facing the cut. You play Steph for the three. You play D-Wade for the drive. Everybody know this mother can't shoot. He want to lay the goddamn ball up. And he's still laying the goddamn ball up and yamming people. That's a part of and finish it. He does nothing on the basketball court better than Steph Yes, he Curry. does. He know it at all. No. He does nothing. Steph Curry does nothing better yes, than Steph Curry. Yes, he does. What? From three, from mid range, and shooting it and shooting it and finishing in the paint. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, also he does. a better passer. No, he no, he is not. Yes, he is. He, a better no, he's passer. not a better passer. Yes, he is. D-Wade, a better passer. Hold on, wait. D Wade is one of the best lob passers of all time. Oh, and also, D Wade was still giving you eight assists a night. No. Same as Steph giving you. Steph no. ain't giving you 10 assists. When the Steph have your ten no, assists. Look, D Wade, my favorite player. Steph of all might time. not even be a top D-Wade five passer. Much, Steph not even top five passer in the league right now. Who are your top five passers? Rondo. Okay. Chris Paul. Okay. LeBron James. Okay. Um, Jokic, damn, they gotta be up there. Stop. Hold stop. on. And also, D Wade never gave you more than more than eight assists a game. He never actually never gave you more. Steph than, gave you never. He never, Steph, he never gave you more than seven point five assists a Steph game. Steph didn't either. Steph gave you what eight point four. Be Point guard. His so job not to. G the point D-Wade guard. D Wade was the point guard for no, that team. No, he wasn't. D Wade was the two guard. He was. Just, he was starting two guard. He held the ball the whole game. No, he didn't. Bro, I used to watch Mario all of my games. Mario was out there, and then fucking LeBron was out there. Mario. Yes. All D Wade. All D Wade. Big assist numbers coming for LeBron. And also D Wade. And also all the way. D Wade still still give you going. I guarantee you, I watch more Heat games than you ever did. I guarantee you, I watch more Heat games than you ever did. I guarantee you, I watch more Heat games than you ever did. Sit your ass down. I guarantee you, I watch more Heat games than you ever did. When the hold on, wait. D Wade give you thirty a night with like eight assists. Steph gave you eight point five a night with twenty points. And even when he was averaging twenty points, even when he was averaging thirty a night, he gave you six point seven points per game. And how much did he weigh? And he was doing it 
fucking 34 minutes a game. That's dope. He don't pass better than motherfucking Dwayne Wade. No. And mean. also, look at the shooter Steph playing with. Steph playing with Clay. Goddamn Dwayne Wade playing with Udonis Haslam. And the year D-Wade averaged 30, he averaged 7.5 assists. Exactly. Okay. With Udonis Haslam. Playing 38.6 minutes a game. Because who he playing Steph with? Steph played 34, who minutes. Who Steph played 34 minutes a Gee, game. Who was on, no, Steph played 34 minutes. minutes a game. Who was on his damn team when he averaged 30 points? What, what year is this? Oh, okay. What? Who on this team? Read this man's teammates. Joe Anthony, Marcus Banks, who is he? Michael Beasley, he was on the weed. Mark Blunt, Mario Chambers, Daquan Cook. I can't even pronounce this man's name. Udonis Haslam, Luther Head, James Jones, Sean Livingston, after the knee. Jamal McClure, Sean Marion, Jamario Moon, oh, no Jermaine O'Neal, Don't disrespect Sean Chris Marion. Quinn. Don't disrespect Sean Marion. In 2018, in 0809, in 0809. That was him coming off playing up Steve Nash in the field. In 0809. Yeah. He wasn't that damn good Elway 09. Google his numbers. Click on his name and, and apologize. Click on his goddamn name and apologize. Stop this fucking And he played Harry. there for half a year. He, he played 41 games okay. there. Okay, what was he And when he was there, he averaged 12 points and 8 rebounds. What was he averaging before? Since you claim he, since you act like he was trash. 12 before. points the year before. No, he averaged 15.4 the year before. Came there, gave you 12. Shut your ass up. Who was the second leader scoring that team in Miami? I can't even... I don't even who. It, I'm sure it showed you. It showed per game. Sean Marion with twelve. <laughs> Actually, no. Michael Beasley with what? With thirteen point nine. Okay, fine. D Way gave you thirty. The next person, Michael Beasley, thirteen point nine. Jermaine O'Neal, thirteen. Sean Marion, twelve. He got traded uh, halfway through the year. You Udonis with ten. What's their three point percentages? Since you say the man is such a much better uh, playmaker, three point percentages. Chris Quinn. 40%. The highest was 40%. Uh, Mark Blunt, who took one three a night, gave you 40%. Michael Beasley, who took one three a night, gave you 40%. Daquan Cook, who took five, gave you 38. Luther Head, 37. Good to me. He, they, they shot one three it a night, matter. G. You the same one that argued me Brooke Lopez shooting percentage is good because he shot 34.5% last year. It's decent. Okay. They decent. It's not a Clay Thompson. Clay on this roster, G. Clay on this roster, G. Clay on this roster, G. No, but I also said Clay on this roster. No, but I also said Clay greater than Kawhi Leonard. If D Wade could pass to Clay Thompson, do you know what the he might have the triple double? <laughs> Lie to yourself. 